Welcome back to another Warframe video. Today, Mesa Prime and Hydroid Prime have been unvaulted for week three of Prime Resurgence. So we're just gonna go over the Warframes, all the weapons and stuff that have dropped today, along with the Prime accessories. And also take a look, I do have Limbo Prime now. If you guys did see my last video, I said I needed a farm Limbo Prime because I did not have him. And I finally have my hands on him now. Also, can someone tell DE to give me an affinity booster? Cause look at all these weapons i need to get my mastery rank up anyways you know the drill if you are new to the channel make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on post notifications so you see more warframe videos from me i am going to be covering the new war once it comes out and i'm super excited for that and i will be keeping you guys up to date with all the prime resurgence stuff if you do enjoy this video drop a like it helps out a lot and let me know what prime items you are going to be farming this week okay so as we see the new rotation literally just started we have Mesa Prime, Hydroid Prime, and then we have the Ak Jagara Prime. I do not have that one yet, so that is going to be one thing I need to farm. Then we have the Redeemer Prime. Listen, if you do not have the Redeemer Prime, get your hands on that now. That is one thing you're absolutely going to want. Along with Mesa Prime, of course. Mesa Prime is amazing. I know some people hate on her because she's too basic or whatever, but I really enjoy Mesa. Probably one of my favorite Warframe in the game then we have the nami skyla prime correct me if i'm wrong but i'm pretty sure this thing forces bleed proc so it's supposed to be really good this is another weapon i'm gonna need to get my hands on because apparently from the videos i've seen from other youtubers it's supposed to be one of the best melee weapons in the game right now then we have the ballistica prime another weapon i do not have at all so it looks like i'm gonna have a lot of grinding to do this week i need to pick up hydroid prime the Ak Jagara Prime, and then the Nami Skyla Prime, and then the Ballistica Prime. I do have the Redeemer Prime because I ended up buying it when I first came back to the game from someone. And then it looks like we have the Mesa Prime Montessa Helmet. This looks really nice. I'm going to have to see how that looks in game. Because if you guys didn't know, after we take a look at the website, we hop into the game to see what these things look like in the actual game. Then we have the Operator Prime accessories. These actually look really nice. I like the mouthpiece. It looks really clean. I'm not going to lie. Now we have the Prime Sugatra. This looks pretty nice too, but once again, like I said before, I don't really like Sugatras. I feel like they're too small. You don't really notice them. Then we have the Sprit Sail Prime Armor. I can't wait to see what this looks like in game. We about to hop in the game and see. And then another Prime Sugatra. And once again, if you do have money, you can always buy the Prime Packs, which will come with everything for that specific Prime release. Or you can just buy everything that's available this week all together for 10 Regal Aya if you do have money. Once again, if you do have the time, I recommend just farming it. It probably won't take that long as long as you get enough Aya. And if you do need help farming Aya, I have an Aya farming guide on my channel. And here are the Regal Aya prices just in case you're new. It's going to be 3 Regal Aya for $20, 7 for $40, and 15 for $80, along with a little extra plat. And I'm not going to lie, that is kind of pricey, but if you got the money and you don't got the time, then just do it, especially for my full-time workers out there. But anyways, let's hop into Maru's Bazaar and see these prime accessories in person. Okay, once you get to Maru's Bazaar, you already know the drill. Let's talk to Varzia and see what she has for us this week. As you can see, once again, the Regal Aya, if you just want to buy them right out instead of farming them, and these are going to be the packs. You can pause right now and see everything you would get on screen. So this is going to be for both the Mesa and Hydroid dual pack. Then we have Mesa's pack alone and then we have hydroids pack right here this is going to be everything you get it's six regal aya for each singular frame pack or 10 to get them both or you can just buy a single weapon if you need it right here all right let's look at the sardin prime sugatra as you can see look at that i feel like sugatras are just so underwhelming in this game but that is my own personal opinion i feel like they just be too hard to see when you're running around slicing like a bunch of enemies then we have the spritzel prime armor Armor set. This one? I don't really know how I feel about it. I'm not gonna lie. It look I feel like if you find the right frame to put it on, it would actually look really good. But what frame would it look good on? That's the question. I don't really know. Then we have the Mesa Prime Montessa helmet. This looks so nice. I love this helmet. Wow. 
this helmet's actually really clean. I ain't gonna lie, I love this helmet. This helmet is so nice. Then we have another Prime Sugatra. Okay, this one, this one actually looks good. As you can see, it's right here, that little thing right here. But I actually like that one. We have the Respa Prime Mask for your operator. My operator is bald headed, don't worry about it. I'm not about to spend 50 platinum to get some hair. Okay, these are actually the Anton Prime Earpiece. Okay, I actually... I don't know. I kind of like that just because it looks weird. Then we have the Airlang Prime Oculus. Okay, this is a no. I love this one. This one is fire. And once again, if you are going to buy this to Regal Aya and you get all three of those pieces together, and this is what it would look like on your little character, dude. It's kind of hard to see from a distance. And for the relics, we actually have quite a bit of relics this week. I think we have six. So we're going to have two Lith relics. We have one Meso relic, and then we have two Neo relics, and we have an Axie relic. As you can see, I only have 34 Aya. I'm going to have to do a lot of Aya farming or just group farming in general. But yeah, these are gonna be all the items that you can farm this week for week three of the Prime Resurgence. Let me know what you guys need to farm because as I've said, I need Hydroid Prime, I need to pick up the Ak Jagara Prime, the Nami Skyla Prime, and the Ballistica Prime. And if you do not have the Redeemer Prime or Mesa Prime, make sure you get your hands on those. Those are gonna be two big things you really don't wanna miss out on. And on December 7th, Vault and Loki Prime are gonna be unvaulted. I will be making a video covering that, you guys already know. And this is the rest of the schedule. Once again, if you guys are new to my channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on post notifications so you don't miss any uploads from me. I'll be covering all the Warframe content from the new war that's coming out to all the Prime Resurgence week updates. So if you wanna stay updated, make sure to hit that subscribe button, drop a like if you enjoyed this video, and thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good day.